Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to give you another video. I just got this box in. And actually, let me put it on the floor. This is the Skywatcher 4 inch F9 Apple Refractor. Um, it was called a Black Diamond uh, for a long time, probably 10 to 12 years, I would say. And since they just came out with the new 6 inch um, Evil Stars uh, Refractor from Skywatcher, they just changed the name of all of these because this, this series has been out, like I said, for at least 10, 12 years. So, not to make it uh, stale, they, uh, you know, give it a new name. Only difference is the Vixen bar is green, not black. That's it. Everything is identical. Um, it's just because they came out with a bigger guy. Now, I'm just looking at it right now, as you can see, it's fresh in the bag. Um, comes with an 8x50 or 9x50. It doesn't really say off the hand. A right angle finder. Actually, that's what's weird about the 6 inch. The 6 inch did not come with any accessories at all. It was just the 6 inch. Uh, let me just show it to you quick. The 6 inches, I showed it to you guys last week, right there in the corner. Um, did not come with anything except for the tube itself or the scope, what we call, and um, the tube and the race. That's it. So this guy at least comes with a finder. Also comes with a two inch diagonal. Uh, I'm not sure if it's dielectric or just a regular standard one. Uh, let's check it out. It is brass compression fittings, which is nice. It's the newer kind. I doubt it's a dielectric one. I mean, it doesn't say. Maybe I'll be surprised and it'll be a dielectric instead of enhanced. Uh, the difference for new people, if you're out there, is that the dielectric is like 99% ref reflectivity and the coatings are actually more durable. But even if it isn't, at least you're getting a 2 inch uh, diagonal with this. Uh, what else comes in here? Okay, you get a 25 millimeter eyepiece, and looks like the focus, or sorry, the eyepiece does turn, so you can focus it if you want to get closer to the lens. Uh, if you wear glasses or unfocused, so that's okay. That's that's at least it comes with it. Also comes with another eyepiece, inch and a quarter, Sky Watcher. Um, ultra wide angle W uh, so it's at 58 degree uh, unlike usually what I hear ultra wide angle usually uh, you think of like 80 to 90 degree uh, field of view type of thing and again it is uh, focusable if you want to get closer to the lens or further so that's uh, you know it's okay I mean I might just sell it off because I already have uh, really good quality eyepieces so and I don't need it. So um, a couple caps here. Okay, so let's take this guy out of the pack. Hopefully you guys can see it. Maybe let me angle the camera more down and see if I can get you a little closer here. Uh, right there. How does that look? I might not be in a frame then. Eh, yeah, I'm not in the frame. So, um, but anyway, it's okay. Let's take a look at the actual tube itself. And, I mean, you guys know what it looked like, so who cares? So, let's just take this out. So, again, this is the black diamond, except, as I said, the only difference is the Vixen rail is green. And they just had to give it a new name. So it's, now it's called the Evil Star um, instead of the Black Diamond. But they're really exactly the same. Here, let's just take this off. Yeah, it still has a black color. Evil Star is the name. This is the 100 EV. Apple. Okay, it looks pretty good. I mean, for this is a 4-inch F9 refractor. Apple chromatic, so Apple for short. Uh, just means it uses one element out of the two of uh, good quality. Now, 
the previous model, Black Diamond, I guess this one, and all the rest, actually is one of the one of the best selling uh, refractors out there, just because it's what they call it's a 53 glass, which is basically pretty much the best kind of lens you can get out of there. Not sure if you can. Does the do cap does not come off? Does, does not slide like the Black Diamond, which is fine. Let's take a look at the coating. Nice deep green. Baffling's good. Not sure if you could see the coating in there. Has this inner cap. Um, so what you could do with that, if anybody has a regular Acromat a doublet, um, so what you could do is, and if it has lots of color, for instance, if it's a 4-inch f5, a 4-inch f6.5, something like that, what you could do is stop it down. So what that means is you could do this. Of course, it's going to be smaller telescope. This might be a 3 millimeter, um, sorry, a 3.1 inch refractor or 80 millimeter type of thing. But it's now instead of, let's say, for instance, if this was an f5, that probably would make it f7. If it was a 6.5, you're probably looking at f8. So if you're looking at the planet, let's say something like that, it'd be better color correction. So example, if you were to view the planets like that, um, I actually got a tape measure here. Let's actually see exactly what that mid opening is. It is just over two inches. So it's probably close to like 70 millimeter. <coughs> So for instance, if you were to view with this guy in place, it is not going to be, and it already has 53 glass in there, so it's pretty much the best you can get. This will probably be equivalent to like F12, F13. Um, you really don't need it. Again, you could do it if you have an Acromat, and if it's especially a short tube. You have a lots of false color, so by doing that, you bring it down to about F7.5, F8 in those cases, and bringing that color more to a reasonable level uh, so you can view the planets uh, at its natural color instead of the false purple color what they call it. Um, so let me check out the focuser. So it is a two inch uh, Crayford focuser dual speed and again just like the uh, the six inch when I did test it this looks like it's a better improved focuser. So I know from previous older models, you know, and all these Cinta focus, uh, you know, focuser refractors, the GSO ones, they have, they're okay for what they are, but this one looks like it's been improved on it. It just feels pretty good quality. So for anybody starting out, if you want a, if you want a Apple Chromatic and you want something like in a four inch size, now it is a little bit long. Um, you know, and, and it doesn't have the uh, retracting dew shield, but that's okay. This, for this size, this quality, this is probably one of the best uh, out there you could probably get. Now, this guy retails for about uh, $1,250 Canadian before tax. Uh, it's about $1,400 with tax, so it's not cheap per se. Let me just uh, put it back here. It's not cheap per se. But, you know, for a 4-inch Apple Chromatic, it, it's, it's pretty good still. So, I do have a graph here, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. How good is this guy? So, I'm not sure if you can see that. So, this graph here, uh, basically, this bottom here. Actually, let me, that's okay. So, this is uh, saying the 4-inch at F9. Apple chromatic and using 53 glass is actually rated at 98.1. So basically, what you're getting, you can find this online. This is called an MTF Selected Refractors. And again, uh, what I was showing you, uh, I can't really see it. Uh, so if you're looking for a four inch refractor, uh, I'm actually, you know, this one's been out there several years uh, or even longer, maybe maybe even up to 12 years, this guy, just under different names. They did the focuser and some other models. If you would like, I could actually do the history of the black diamond version and how it got to here. Because um, I do have the gold version one, which is the one before the black diamond. So um, 
they're pretty much identical. The quality control has been really good. You're getting really great optics here. Again, 53 glass, which is pretty much the best kind of glass you can get in a 4-inch F9 refractor. It's a doublet, not a triplet. But so this is pretty much the best you can you can buy in a 4-inch. The only one that you know that would be better, for instance, what we can do is the uh, Takahashi. I have a 4-inch Takahashi. If you would like to see maybe a, a how would a Chinese one, you know, four inch made in China uh, with Apple compared to like the best that there is, like a Takahashi four inch? We could do that since I have them both. Um, of course, the planets are getting a little far, like uh, Jupiter is kind of past its prime. It is a little bit, uh, I guess, it's still in an okay position if I go downstairs, but for my balcony, it's getting towards the edge of where I could see before my neighbor's balcony uh, so but um, comment below uh, subscribe please and if you would like to see um, me do a uh, rundown of both of those to see how good would this be which again is rated at 98.1 against a, a Takahashi triplet is probably rated at like 98.9 so again for most people uh, but then again Takahashi uh, 4 inch is probably worth like $4,000 almost it's so about three and a half times more it's a lot of money however for most people uh, you probably don't even need this guy i would say if you're starting out in the hobby right now and you want something like a four inch refractor skywatcher makes a regular acromat a four inch f9 or f10 which is probably great for people just starting off and getting a decent glass as minimal color on it um, and that's false color um, for the people that don't know uh, but if you're looking for an apple chromatic, this also again, you know, again, 1400 with tax, is still pretty, pretty decent. But again, for somebody brand new, I'd say try an acromat first. And if you got into the hobby and um, you got pretty serious, and then you want an apple chromatic, you can consider a step up like this after. But uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's the new Skywatcher. Now they call it uh, Evil Star. It used to be called Black Diamond. 100 ED. Thanks a lot.